Conan Exodus by Asad Ribic. How the pretentiousness of modern comic people. I don't know why I was on, you know, I was watching somebody's channel and they really annoyed the hell out of me. Why do you care what other people do is the question. If somebody wants to read something physical, let them. Digital, let them. If somebody wants to do this, wants to do that, don't worry about them. Don't, don't worry about them. If they're actually interested in the field, if they want to collect something, let them. If they don't, don't worry about it. It's their fucking collection. If they want a physical copy, they'll get it. If they don't, they won't. Not everybody wants a physical copy of every modern piece of crap comic. <clears throat> On the note of this comic, it's not a piece of crap. There's a, an issue with it, however. Um, it has no writing. You know, it has no writing. It has uh, little bubbles with uh, fake writing and some runes. And I understand what the story is. It's um, right after Conan leaves Samaria. So he's a young Conan. So I'm assuming Barry Windsor Smith when I look at him with that terrible, terrible drawing of a face. Sorry, I have to point it out. Gotta be honest, that too. Ribic's a great artist, but I don't know if he's meant to do interiors as much. <clears throat> anyway, uh, it takes place right after Conan leaves Samaria, so it's a young Conan. And he doesn't understand English, so that's the reason nothing's in English, or doesn't understand that English, but whatever language they're speaking, I suppose. Roman, uh, Latin, I don't know. Anyway, um, so it's all his first adventures, pretty much. It's a fine comic, it's fine. But uh, we can't judge each other. We need to be more accepting, less elitist. It's the same thing as any number of other things. And people can get things however they want, and people can worry about other people a little less. Let people be themselves. Don't judge them. Just be yourself. Now, I hear somebody just on, online just judging away, just giving people a hard time about stuff, and it's like, brother, you are not a gatekeeper. You are not in charge of anything. You're just a fan. So just read it. And just be nice, be cool, chill out. Anyway, that's my opinion on this comic. It's a fine comic if you uh, can deal with that. You know, a lot of the action is great, as you see here. We should show that, too, while we're at it. Because he draws action quite well. You know, his action is better than his close-up uh, emotional skills. But just a little bit of uh, Conan focus on a rainy day, since we're dealing with a rainy pooper out there. Uh, September, uh, you know, always makes me think to read comics. And I always love fantasy comics the most, so I wound up... Have me go ahead and check out the old Conans. I wouldn't sweat other people on their opinions. Keep your opinions to yourself. Keep your opinions. Don't be threatened by others. You can well, you can share your opinions with others, but no sense in uh, in worrying about another's opinion. It doesn't do you any good, and no sense in pressuring your opinion onto them. They might not agree with you. So if they want to read digital, and if they want to do this or do that or pirate, for example, let them do whatever the fuck they want, because at least they care enough to give a fucking shit to do anything to do with the field and to read, period, because that's what it's really about. I don't know why people are so interested in corporate piece-of-shit companies like Marvel and DC doing well. If they're, if they're pirating small companies, it's another story, but people like myself, I read exclusively indie comics and buy them. I buy those. So, this is a note. And I don't buy Marvel or DC. They're not worth it. They don't deserve my money. They're shitty companies. They're corporate. They don't have heart. I like heart in my shit, so... Just thought I'd put that out there so that people <clears throat> could understand other people have other perspectives. You don't need to worry about what other people like and what they, whether they want to do it that way or they want to do another. At least they care about the medium and at least they give a shit about any comics such as Alterna, Valiant, and Boom Studios, IDW, and Vault, and uh, all these other rando companies, and Image, and any number of other companies that they might like to, and Dark Horse, they might like to support. But just not want to support a shitty company like Marvel or DC. And I do support DC, by the way. They don't put out near as bad as stuff as Marvel. Social engineering and all that. Take care.